What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have massive unboxing number 25 for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have epic massive unboxing store for you guys. I believe we have about 10 models or so in here and I am super excited to dive into this. And I hope you guys are as well. Let's get started everybody. Alrighty everybody, so let's get this massive unboxing started. So I really hope you guys are excited for this. Very excited for massive unboxing 25. I really thought about making this a really big unboxing, but I, instead I decided to split it up into many parts. So expect several massive unboxings over the coming weeks because we have several models that have been coming in lately and I've been super excited to get these out for you guys. And it's gonna be an absolute blast. So let's get started with this one right here. Alrighty everybody, let's get things kicked off here. So the first model that we have on deck today is the Gemini Jets 1-400 scale United Airlines Boeing 757-300 in the Evo Blue Paint Scheme. Very excited for this model. This has been one that I've been looking forward to for several months now and Gemini Jets finally got around to doing this in October of 2021. And this is going to be a really nice model. This one looks absolutely stunning from the box here. Now let's just get started. So you have your typical Gemini Jets criteria here as you guys can see. Not too much to explain there. CGI looks nice. This is going to be a beautiful aircraft. I saw some pictures of it and it looks really really nice here's the box all around here's the back of the box as well 2022 release and taking a look at that pamphlet looks fantastic and there it is inside this will be my second 757 300 for united as i have the continental globe from 2014 so let's just dive into this guys so what a great looking model i mean this thing looks outstanding gemini jets has really been amping it up in my opinion recently and take a look at this fantastic effort my goodness and here we have the Gemini Jets 1-400 scale United Airlines Boeing 757-300 in the Evo blue paint scheme. This is a fantastic looking model. I am loving the looks of this and Gemini Jets rock on for this effort. This is absolutely awesome. Let's take a look at this guys. Alrighty everybody, let's get started. Here's the cockpit windows and the nose cone. Really nicely done here by the Gemini Jets mold in my opinion. I think it looks really nice. Then you have the Uniting Together titles right here. The Star Alliance logo in the L1 boarding door with some really nice detail. Gemini Jets' printing is outstanding and this is a great example of that. Here's the nose landing gear. Nice job by Gemini for getting the detail there. It looks fantastic. Here's the United Airlines billboard titles. Really, really nice and crisp. They look fantastic and I love the design of those. So great job. Here's where your first class would be in the 757-300 in general is such a unique aircraft obviously just because of the length of it but just the characteristics of the aircraft in general so more first class seats here and then of course you'd have your economy plus section and here's the l2 boarding door which looks fantastic you have the top antenna which gemini jets did a really nice job sizing on this aircraft so good job there and there's your rolls royce engines these look fantastic love the detail on them and they're angled really nicely on this aircraft so great job by gemini jets this is a really really nice model i highly recommend this one here's also the wing route right here nice job for not too much of a gap right there so really nice you also have your over wing exit with two doors uh, per side. So here's the pad for that as well. Here's your slat detail, the winglet right there that looks really nice. And you also have the speed brakes and flap detail. There's the Wi-Fi box, uh, looks really good on this aircraft. I don't think it's supposed to have two of them, but I know the uh, Delta 752 that recently came out had two. So that's kind of pretty cool from NG models that is, but still you got one here and I think it looks fantastic. Here's the back antenna, the L3 door. And then there is the L4 door with the tail number November 75854. And here's the Evo blue tail and the cheat line obviously coming up to the APU. This model is fantastic. What a great way to start today's unboxing. This is a fantastic model. Definitely one of the best by Gemini Jets all year, in my opinion. And if you haven't got this aircraft yet and you're looking for a really nice United and a very unique mainline aircraft, there is no reason not to get this aircraft. Top of the aircraft looks really nice. Good detail there by Gemini Jets. And then the bottom also looks really good. You got the Gemini Jets logo there on the bottom of the fuselage, which is pretty unique. Your landing gear doors and all that fun stuff, along with the luggage load or luggage doors here on the right side. Really beautiful aircraft, highly recommended. Great job by Gemini Jets. And I am so, so happy to have this one. Alrighty, everybody, the next assortment of models comes from the Midwest Model Store. Highly recommend using the Midwest Model Store. They are really good. I've really enjoyed my experience with them and they've done really, really well as of late. So we have several models in here. I'm excited to dive into this and I hope you guys are as well. Let's do it. Alrighty, everybody, we're gonna start right here with the Braniff L188 Electra. This will actually be saved for the next massive unboxing as that will be a retro one, so stay on the lookout for that. Following that, we have the Gemini Jets 1-400 scale American Airlines Airbus A319 with sharklets. Really excited for that one. That will be now my, I think, fifth one or something like that, something ridiculous. There it is back there, been really excited for that. Let me see if I can get it out. It's nice and tightly packed. Another reason why the Midwest Model Store is fantastic. But right here we have the NG Models 1-400 sale, Finnair Airbus A350-900 in the normal livery. So excited for this. This is gonna look great at the Dallas Model Airport and I'm very, very, very glad to have that one. And lastly in the back, that might be kind of a surprise to you guys. I don't know if you guys were expecting me to get this, but last minute I chose to go for it. And that is the NG Models 1-400 scale, Qatar Airways 
Airways Boeing 777-300ER in the normal livery. What a great assortment of models. Let's start from the lo lowest to the highest in terms of the size and let's get after it. Alrighty guys, let's kick it off right here with the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale American Airlines Airbus 1819 with Sharklets. This is Gemini Jets' second iteration of this aircraft, as we'll see many times here throughout 2022. Gemini did this aircraft back in 2018, and this one has some new interesting characteristics to it, so let's get started. Same box as the United, of course, with the American branding, uh, CGI, and all that fun stuff. Still a good looking box still, and I'm glad to get to see it here, so here is the turnaround of it. The back of the box, obviously this is a 2022 release, you got the American Airlines trademark and all that, and here is the pamphlet right here. Here, and here's the model inside so without any further delay let's just get into it because i want to see what it looks like in terms of the coloring you know it's just gemini at this point honestly i think it looks better than what it was made out to be online but yes you can definitely notice it reminds me quite a bit of the bone 777 that came out recently but luckily this one is qc free of any defects and here is the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale American Airlines Airbus E319 with Sharklets. This is a really good looking aircraft. It's honestly kind of exceeded my expectations from looking at it on pictures online. So really glad to have this aircraft and this will be a great asset. So let's just jump into the details. Alrighty guys, let's dive into this. So here is the cockpit windows in the nose shape. Not horrible. We've talked about this many times, so you guys know the drill at this point. Here's the inspection panel along with the L1 boarding door and some really nice detail on this door as well. You also have the antenna in the nose landing gear. The uh, nose landing gear looks really nice there, so I'm glad to see that. The One World logo along with the American Airlines billboard titles. These look really good, and I'm glad to get to see this right here. Uh, taking a look at the color again, since we have a nice broad perspective over here, it reminds me a lot of the 777 that came out earlier this year. I think it was probably within the same range range of when they were doing colors there. So it's a little too dark in my opinion overall, but it's not a deal breaker because, well, I mean, I have like every, every for like 50 shades of gray in my American Airlines fleet at this point. So why not add another one? And then here is the CFM engine, nice and detailed. I really like the exhaust on that. That looks really nice right there. You also got the main landing gears that look fantastic along with the wings. So you got the slat detail, the emergency exit, which is really nice there. And you also got the flap and uh, speed brake detail. Here is the Sharklet. So actually this particular aircraft, the number 9300, three actually now has a logo on the inside of the winglet which looks very neat uh you know jim and i probably didn't know it beforehand it was going to so it's all good but i'm glad to see that the logo is getting put on some different aircraft even though it's kind of controversial so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments it's an interesting characteristic state at least but americans trying to get some more characteristics going so i can't blame them for the variety two antennas in the wi-fi box was a new addition to this iteration which is nice to see and you got the american airlines tail uh it reminds me a whole bunch of more recent releases in terms of the saturation of the american airlines Livery. Like I've said previously, I do prefer the other American Airlines uh, livery in terms of non-saturation. In fact, I actually have one right here that I can kind of show off. That one actually has a little bit more saturation to it than one I was expecting. This is the A321 Neo release, but wish I had on hand a older one. Actually, this is actually exactly right. This is a 175 from previously. You can kind of see, especially in the blue, but also kind of the red, where the saturation isn't quite as heavy there, but still really nice, and I'm glad to have this. This also will sit on its tail easily, so I don't know what that's about, but if you want it taken off, by all means, but it'll also not tilt back without pushing it, so that's nice too. Here's the luggage doors as well. They look really nice. Some more inspection panels. Main landing gear detail looks really good, and then you also have the tail here as well, like I said. APU detail and some really nice inspection panels back here really nice printing top of the aircraft looks really nice glad to get to see that wi-fi box and then the bottom also here you got the gemini jets logo is getting smaller and smaller by the day here sand hole and all that fun detail another really good job honestly exceeding my expectations especially in terms of the color and i think it's livable so i might have to get another one we shall see but let's dive into some heavies guys Alrighty guys, before I put the next model here in front of the camera, I want to shake the box near the microphone to see if you guys can hear the uh, the broken part was moving around. Now I can barely hear it. It's like a caught against the plastic, but there is a very, very good chance that something's broken on this model. Nevertheless, we have the NG models 1 to 400 scale Finnair Airbus E350-900 in the normal livery. Really excited to have this aircraft as Finnair has recently started service to the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport flying to Helsinki, obviously in Finland. Very excited to have this aircraft. This will be a great addition to my international fleet as now I have an aircraft from Finland. So I'm very excited to have this and we shall see what the broken part is. But nevertheless, this is a really nice model. I'm excited to have it. And let's take a look. Got the Airbus A350-900 here. You got the Fiji, or Finnair, not Fiji. Uh, they were, they're also rumored to come to Dallas too, so that'll be cool. Uh, CGI right here. Here's Finnair, registration of Oscar Hotel Lima X. 
uh, whiskey echo, excuse me. NG models, one to 400 scale, pretty good box design. Uh, you know, it's very reminiscent of the uh, Finera livery itself. So you can't complain too much with that. Back of the box, pretty similar. You got all your warning hazards and all that fun stuff. So this is gonna be pretty interesting to see what's going on with this aircraft. I'm very hopeful that nothing's broken, but there was something shaking for sure. So we shall see what NG's QC has to say today. And here we go. Uh, it's looking good from the initial assessment. Let's see if anything here is missing or if it was just rattling for no reason. Um, let's see here. Okay, I guess there's nothing rattling. I swear I heard something. 100% swear I heard something. Oh no, it's the Wi-Fi box. What? So this is my very first Wi-Fi box to come broken. So the Wi-Fi box came detached. I was not expecting that one. That was most certainly an oddball, but if you guys want to see how a Wi-Fi box is supposed to be attached, let's do it. So um, all you have to do here is just place it on the hole because it has a nice insert here and we'll, we'll twist it around just like that. And just like that, uh, well, I wasn't trying to pull it out, but these are pretty loosely inserted. So now I've got an A350 with a broken tire, broken horizontal stabilizer, loose wings, uh, I'm sorry, loose landing gear. I don't think I've got a wing yet, luckily, and now a Wi-Fi box. So these NGA350 QC issues have had pretty much everything in the book happen to them, but I'm trying to get this inserted because I'd really like to put it here. Alrighty, so just no touching the Wi-Fi box, but what a great looking model. This looks really nice. I'm excited to dive into this, so let's take a look at it. And here we have the NG models, one to 400 scale, Finnair Airbus A350-900. This is a beautiful looking aircraft, really nice job by NG. Unfortunate to get that Wi-Fi box detached, but just gonna have to be careful with it. But outside of that, this is a very good looking aircraft and let's just see what it's all about. Alrighty guys, so here we go. So here's the cockpit windows along with some really good pitot tube inspection panel detail and also the shape and the curvature of the nose. Definitely an interesting shape to say the least. I think it looks pretty solid. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. You got the nose landing gear, which looks pretty good on this one and also the L1 door right here. Really nice detail and it looks fantastic. I think that's also the One World logo inside right there. So that's really nice. Actually, never mind. There is one right there. Here's the Finnair titles. I think the font is very unique, obviously with it kind of cutting off in places. So we have F, I, N, N, and then A, I, R. And then here's some more inspection panels. These really nicely sized antennas when they do come attached, which luckily in this case they did on this aircraft. And you also got the L2 boarding door with the uh, One World logo right there, which is really nice and easy to see with the second in right there. So that's really cool. And then here is the wing itself. Really nice job here on the root of the wing. It's really nice and inserted well, so I'm glad you get to see that. Here are the engines. They look super nice on this aircraft. Really good job by NG for getting all that applicable detail there with the fan blades and everything. So really good job there to get those characteristics there. And here's the slats, flaps, and speed brakes, which look really nice. Here is the curvature of the uh, sharklet winglet sort of thing. You obviously have this side with no F, but luckily, oh, I didn't mean, hopefully I didn't scratch my lens. We also have that right there with that F, so that looks fantastic. I'm glad to get to see that. Here's the L3 door right here, which looks really nice, some great detail there. And you also have the antenna with the uh, Wi-Fi box, and that is looking great now that we have it inserted in there, so glad to get to see that. Here's the, uh, we have the Finnair flag right there, and then the registration of Oscar Hotel, Lima, Victor, or, uh, whiskey Echo, and then we also have the um, some sort of maybe another flag or something. I can't tell what the blue is. Airbus A350-900. You got the uh, down there. You got the uh, luggage door, and you also got another antenna in the F for fin air. Really love to see it. You also got the APU and the horizontal stabilizers too. On the right side of the aircraft, you have some additional details with the luggage doors or the cargo doors, I should say in this case. Really, really nice. And I mean, this just looks fantastic in general. Take a look at this. Top of the aircraft looks really nice. As you can see, the Wi-Fi dome is loose, but it's all right. I might try to glue it in, I'm not sure. And then I'll just hold it as I turn it upside down. You guys can see all that really nice detail. You got the stand hole, beacon, uh, landing gear doors, and all those fun items. This is a stunning model, highly recommended, really nice job right here, and NG knocked it out of the park, very nice. Alrighty, everybody, next up we have the NG Models 1 to 400 scale Cotter Boeing 777-300ER in the normal livery. Really excited to have this. This is a fantastic looking airplane, and I can't believe that one finally got done in normal livery. That's my predominant reason for picking this up. But man, what a great looking aircraft, and it's gonna be awesome. So let's take a look. Boeing 777-300ER, you got all the antelopes back here, really nice box design. You got the Cotter right here, and then you got all your nice livery right detail right here. Cotter Airways, and you got it in their language. Registration, Alpha 7, Bravo, Echo, Delta, NG Models, one the 400 scale. Uh, it would also match up with the other one they did, the sticker. I'm not sure which sticker it was. I honestly forgot because they've done so many of them. And obviously they just announced the Defeat the World Cup ones. So if you want any iteration of that, you're gonna be able to get it if you would like to. And yeah, 
This is going to be a great looking aircraft. Really hopeful that this one's in good condition and let's see what it's all about. So Qatar, what do you got to say about your 777? Whoa, how about this? So we have a new packing design. I had no idea about this. Nobody told me. So yeah, so this is your new packing design. This is really cool. So previously, obviously you had the styrofoam. Now this is a more, this is like a robust uh, packing. This is a really solid type plastic. I don't know what the proper term for it would be, but this thing is nice and sealed. It's not going anywhere. If this is gonna be the new normal for our heavies, I'm very excited about the future of QC because obviously this must have paid off as this is a really durable. See, I'm putting immense pressure onto this and it is not moving. So not sure what this is, but this is a very nice packing design and it was not on my KLM. And here is the Qatar, golly. This is what 400 collecting is all about in 2022. This is very, very, very nice. Goodness gracious. We also have our character card for August of 2022, which is a really nice dark blue color. So glad to get to see that. And here we have the NG Models 1 to 400 scale Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER in the normal livery. When you get a good color along with the perfect mold, or not perfect mold, I should say, but a really good mold, it is really hard to mess up. And this is exactly that. This is by far one of the best models I've ever seen. And this is really, really impressive. Let's take a look at this and see what this is all about. Starting up here on the front, you got the cockpit windows with the nose cone. I think it's shaped really nicely on this aircraft. Love to get to see that. You also have some sort of city name, I think that is right there, along with some pitot tube detail as well, which looks fantastic. Here is the L1 boarding door with some awesome detail. Nose landing gear and nose landing gear door also look fantastic, nice and really just rigid. They look really good. And also you have the One World logo right here that looks absolutely amazing. And here is where your first class and obviously, uh, Q Suite business class would be in this proximity, so love to get to see that right here. The Qatar billboard titles looks amazing. L2 boarding door as well right here, and some more inspection panel and pitot tube details, or not pitot tube details particularly, but just all the other inspe inspection panels and lights and that sort of thing. Wi-Fi box and antenna look great right there too. Looks really nice. And here are our GE 90s with the antelope. Really, really cool. AS Aviation is gonna be loving that. That is absolutely awesome. You also got their language right there for it. Then you got the L3 door with the uh, emergency exit obviously and the pad right there that looks fantastic here are the slats they're really nicely detailed in the leading edge of the wing just looks great in general so love to get to see that detail and the flaps and the speed brakes also have really good detail here are the main landing gear as you can see they're really nicely detailed looks fantastic on this aircraft and you also got the l4 and the l5 do doors right here i can't talk l5 doors which look really nice you got the smaller wi-fi box or satcom box or whichever box that is of sorts two more antennas and then you got your cotter flag with the registration of alpha 7 bravo echo delta and the antelope looks fantastic and this is what it's all about guys i think this is personally one of the best models i have in my collection this is going to be really fun to represent at dallas uh great plains and anywhere else i possibly could utilize it you also got the cargo bin doors really nice and really good right there and also the luggage door Personally, I was very skeptical about whether I should invest the money to get this or not. Man, I am so glad I did. Here's the top side of the aircraft that looks fantastic right there. And then the bottom also, I'm sure it's looking great. Yes, you got the Qatar underbelly, which is super nice. Your back antenna there. This overall, this is fantastic. It really doesn't get much better than this. And NG models, way to go after having that broken satcom box on the uh, Finnair. This is absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad to have this one. Alrighty guys, next up we have a really unique model from the Midwest Model Store as well. I'm very excited to have this one as I've been wanting to get this one for quite some time. And this should be a really cool model. So let's see what this is all about. Uh, one item you're gonna, or one, uh, I guess, trend you're gonna see in this unboxing is I'm gonna be expanding some of my other collections rather than just my civil fleet in this video. And this will be a great addition to my military fleet. Really excited to have this and let's take a look at this. Alrighty, everybody, here we go with our next aircraft. It's gonna be the Gemini Max 1 to 400 scale United States of America Boeing E4B. Very unique addition to my military sector. I'm very excited to have this one. I've really been looking to expand my military fleet in general and get some very unique aircraft types like a B1, B2, obviously now E4B, uh, C5, all kinds of really cool aircraft like that. And luckily I was able to come across a restock of the E4B on the Midwest Model Store. So really glad to have this one. This is gonna be a great addition and I'm really excited to take a look at this. So let's see what it's all about. Really cool with the Gemini Jets Max box, even though it's a little bit dated, you have your really cool kind of, uh, 
Um, this is what you'd see on like a toolbox. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the name is, but a really cool pattern design. Gemini Max, here's the E4B itself as the CGI in a great looking box right here. I'm not sure, this was probably like a 2018 release. I know they also recently did one in the 200 scale as of late. This is a 2019 release. So cool to get to see that right there. There's all your social media and everything. And here is the inside, it looks fantastic. And there it is itself. This is gonna have some of the best detail in my collection. Really cool mold that Gemini has. And let's see what this E4B encompasses and is all about. If I can get this open, here we go. And this is looking rather spectacular. Love the detail on this. This is by far possibly one of my most detailed 400 scale models outside of the, I also have the Air Force 2, the C-32A, but this is a great, really, really cool addition to the fleet. And here we have the Gemini Max 1 to 400 scale United States of America E-4B. This is a very, very cool aircraft and it really doesn't even do you justice till you get it in real life. I'm so glad I chose to get this one and I'm really excited for all the different scenarios I can use it at my model airport and a really cool element to my collection in general. So let's take a look at this sucker. Alrighty everybody, so here we go with the E4B. So let's take a look at this. So obviously right here, you got the cockpit windows in the panel right here, which is awesome. And then there's all kinds of antennas on this and everything because obviously of all the tracking they're doing and just all the different functions that these aircraft have. So here's one of them right here. Really cool gray nose cone that's pretty unique right there in the nose landing gear that looks absolutely fantastic right there. Here's your L1 door and also the L2. Then we have four antennas, count them four antennas in the beacon. Really cool dome of sorts right there. That's fantastic. United States of America with the older font right there. Then of course you got the L2 door as well. I'll scoot down the camera since the line was kind of taking it up right there. And of course you got the L3 door right here. You also have some really cool detail with the older engines right here. They look really nice and they did a really good job on that. They look a little bit dated in terms of detail, but there's no issues with that whatsoever. Just an observation more than anything, of course. And of course the mold's very unique. It looks like a combination of a one and a two piece kind of. So there we go. Really good looking. You also got two big antennas right here, especially this one, but this one's also pretty significant to say the least. Here's the red uh, strobe light right here. And you also got back here the uh the edge of the wing so obviously this is based on the boeing 747 200 so that's really cool so perhaps that's where the wings come from this aircraft there's the united states air force logo and then of course back there on that side you got uasaf excuse me then of course you got some really good detail back here with another two antennas some sort of dome that was supposed to be right there i think i that's kind of an outline so maybe perhaps it was supposed to be there but really nice two antennas right there and then you got another three in another dome of sorts actually no door right here which is pretty interesting then you got the door on the back right there, all your window cutouts as well. And you also got that L4 door, the United States Air Force logo. Um, and then of course you got the tail with the US right there in the tail number of 36176. 316716, excuse me. And you also got the really good horizontal stabilizer detail. I'm sorry, I missed that. I was at a bad angle with the uh, deals coming out. Not sure if those are like supposed to be some sort of pedo tubes or what exactly. I'm sure they have a purpose, just not exactly sure. Probably aerodynamic related if I had to guess, but really cool. On the right side of the aircraft, you got some really good detail over here as well, including your cargo loader door. And you also have an R4 door on this side, which is really cool. And you also got the doors back here as well. Just absolutely phenomenal model, guys. This is a highly recommend on my side. Uh, just very unique and you can use this for so many different situations at your model airports. Gemini Dets did a really good job casting this one. It has some of the best detail out there. Truly unique. You also got the Gemini Dets bigger logo down there. Excuse me. You also got stand hole and the gear do pivot really nicely too. Really, really cool model. I highly recommend it. This will not be the only really cool 747 we get today, but man, what a fantastic airplane. Alrighty, everybody. Next up, we have a real life trade that actually went down right here. So this one was not one I was expecting to get, but I thought I could use it for a couple of cool situations. So yes, this is a Boeing house livery, 77-8. I believe this is a Hoagie model. So here you have the Boeing 1 to 400 scale Premier Collection. Here's the CGI Boeing 77-8 for the uh, Dreamliner right here. Glad I have another Dreamliner. It's another miscellaneous one. I do have a 777 that's like this as well, and I've been able to use it a little bit at, as of late. So that's been cool. So let's see if we can add this one into the fleet as well. So here it is. We got the sand right here. Probably won't well, I guess I could, but nevertheless, here's the aircraft itself, and let's get it out and see what it's all about. Alrighty, everybody, and here we have the Hogan Wings 1 to 400 scale Boeing 787 8 Dreamliner with the house livery. Honestly, kind of liking this. I did not expect to like it as much as I have so far, but this is a pretty cool looking plane. I love the default Boeing house livery, this blue one that is, and it looks really cool. So let's dive into the details. Alrighty, everybody, so here we go. We got cockpit windows, and obviously the light blue goes into the dark blue. Got the uh, nose landing gear, obviously not the most detailed, but it's okay. L1 and L2 doors, and the Boeing logo right there. Really nice, and this is a nice, simple aircraft, obviously. Here's your engines, really good looking. I love the detail on them. Not bad for Hogan, so glad you could see that. This honestly might be my first 1-400 Hogan, which is another cool element of this aircraft for me. 
plenty of passenger windows and obviously a really cool grainy going into the back here with the L3 and L4 doors. The wings are pretty nicely detailed. Unique design here with the um, landing gear. So you can actually put it gear up, but actually, so you have this piece right here and this actually, well, there you go. You can kind of see what I'm talking about, a little bit finicky, but pretty much you have the main landing gear support piece, which goes in there. And then obviously you also have the top piece that I was trying to show you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much how that works. Then you got the uh, Dreamliner titles down there along with a baggage door. And you also got the L4 door in the stunning 77 dash, or 77 titles on there. Not necessarily a uh, dash eight, but just 77 titles. And of course the horizontal stabilizers. On the right side, of course, you got all the other applicable detail, including the baggage doors. And you really see the mold crease right there, which is really cool. And of course the aircraft wants to break on me, but yeah, it looks really nice. And I won't show top down for that reason, but yeah, this is a really cool aircraft. If you're ever looking for a house 787, I'd recommend this one if you can find it outside of mine's kind of being finicky as you can see, but I'll show you guys how to put this back in. So you put it in like that. It has these knob pieces that kind of go into these inserts. So that's how that works, or it's at least that's the intention. It's not working great, but you know, it's probably been removed a couple times over the years would be my guess. And then on top, you can do that. So yeah, looks really good. Glad to have it. And this is a great airplane. Alrighty boys, and here was the real big part of the trade. Right here we have the engine models, one the 400 scale, American Airlines Boeing 787-9. Have really been trying to track this one down for a couple years now after unfortunately passing on it unintentionally in 2019. This is a beautiful airplane and I am so excited to get into this. So let's just do it everybody. Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Of course you have the American Airlines livery with the blue here on the left and the red on the right. Right, excuse me. Here's the CGI Dreamliner American registration November 832 Alpha Alpha Indy models, one to 400 scale. I'm very glad to have this one. So, yeah, this will be a great addition to the model airports. Of course, Dallas, Tulsa, particularly, will be the most useful for it. And this will be a great model. I know how I felt when I got my NG737 and some of my other NG American Airlines planes, 321s, and that sort of thing. This will play a very similar role for me. And I'm really excited to have this one. So, let's just dive into it and see what it's all about. What, look at that, man. Mm. Fantastic effort, man. I love the effort on this. Very, very, very applicable as she comes out. What a great looking airplane, guys. And here we have the engine models, one to 400 scale, American Airlines Boeing 77-9 in the current livery. This is a stunning looking aircraft. I'm so happy to have this one and this will be a great addition to the fleet. So let's dive into it and see what it's all about. Alrighty guys, here we go. So here's the cockpit windows in the nose cone. Looks really good on this aircraft, love to see it. Got some Peter tubes and also nose landing gear. Looks really nice. Maybe tilts down just a little bit perhaps, but still looks really nice. Here's the L1 door right here. Really great detail and also the One World logo. Get the American Airlines billboard titles right here. Also great shade of gray on this aircraft. It looks so nice. So here's the American Airlines billboard titles. Got the logo and obviously the American right here. Antenna, Wi-Fi box and L2 door. Really good job right here. Also got great detail, detail down there on all the inspection panels. Looks great. Great. Here's the wing root and everything. Really good detail. I really like the grooves inside right here that are really cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not sure if that's a fresh air inlet or what that is. Well, it has supplemental oxygen, so that doesn't really make much sense, but it's something I'm sure. Here's the engines. Really good job on the detail. The exhaust also looks fantastic. And here is the wings. You got the slats. Really nice and level wings here. And the horizontal stabilizer, or I'm sorry, not quite. The um, flaps and the speed brakes, there we go. That looks absolutely amazing. Here's the L3 door, great detail right there along with the L4 door. The additional economy section after we got done with the first class business. Registration November 832 Alpha Alpha. Three antennas here at the back in the beautiful tail. Great job on the red right there, the red and blue that is. Looks so nice and just what a great model to have. This is a really cool one. Cargo loader door also is over here on your right and also got the one in the back and also the uh, luggage. Top of the aircraft's got some really good details. Like I said, you got the Wi-Fi box and the two antennas. The bottom also has your stand hole and a really good groove there in the middle. That's a nice indent indention for detail there. So really nice plane. Highly recommend it if you can find it. It is a really, really hard one to find, but really glad to have this one. And this is a great model for the collection. Alrighty guys, next up I believe we have the only model that I got from the Gemini Jets November 2022 releases. Uh, it was a decent set, but there was only one particular aircraft that interests me. I'm sure you guys can probably guess which one that was. At least for the moment, I might come back to the Caribbean Max Delta A220 at a later date. But at least for the initial moment, this is the one. Also another buy from the Midwest Model Store here. Again, highly recommended. They do a great job, but let's crack into this one. You guys can probably see it there in the back. 
We have the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale American Airlines Airbus E320 with the CFM engines. Glad to get to see this re released again. I believe this is now the third release that uh, Gemini Jets has done. This is the second CFM as they did a CFM in 2017. And I'm excited to have this one. So let's dive into it. Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors. You guys know the box at this point. Why am I even going over it? I just kind of, I don't want to waste your guys' time going over a box that we've seen dozens of times. Here's the back of the box 2022. Also, notice the indentations here. I'm not sure why that continues. To happen on my boxes but it does here's the pamphlet and here's the model inside i'm interested to see that color it's going to be i feel like it's one shade lighter compared to the 319 so i'm eager to see this and let's just get it out i'm excited for this should be a good model yeah the antenna is moving a little bit there but hopefully everything else is looking good 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 and gemini's qc continues to thrive pretty well that's actually in there like that okay i was able to get it to turn around but man that would have been ugly if it would have been like inserted like that and here we have the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale American Airlines Airbus E320 with the CFM engine. So Gemini Jets obviously swinging back around to do some of these mainline planes. This is the 319, 320s go at it, and I'm sure more of them are to come. So here's the 319 comparison. I believe it's going to be a shade lighter. Um, mm, they look pretty close to me. Maybe it is. I, this is tough to tell. Yeah, I feel like it is. Um, let me try to get them lined up pretty much right next to each other. Maybe not, you know, I guess they're not. Let me put it like this. Maybe it would help if I did this. I still feel like it might be one shade lighter. I can't tell. It's hard to see. I'm not trying to do it like that. I just want to see if I can get a good angle for you guys. Yeah, you know, honestly, it might be the same. I might be able to tell better on camera, but yeah, maybe, heck, is the 320 maybe darker? I can't tell at this point. But nevertheless, let's dive into this model as I still think it's a pretty good one and I'm glad to have it in the fleet and another American 320. It's certainly better than the 2020 release. Let's say that at least at the bare minimum. Alrighty, so here's your cockpit windows. Very similar assessment to the 319 that we reviewed early in the video. Here's your antenna that looks really good. L1 door right here, one world logo, and you also got the nose landing gear that looks really good. Got similar details this time though, just a little bit longer compared to your 319. Do you have your CFM engines? You also have the antenna here, the emergency exits, and your Wi-Fi dome on this aircraft looks really good. And here are the fence tips that look really nice on both sides respectively. Registration November 103, Uniform Sierra, and here is the tail. Nice and detailed, it looks good. Um, yeah, I don't think the printing's crooked that much. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, I don't think so, though. Uh, the le left landing gear there, it looks like it might be a little widened out there on the front there, but that's not the worst I've seen from Gemini for sure. It's not bad. Here's your luggage doors, though, and you also got some inspection panels. And uh, one really good characteristic is not much wing flex, which is glad to see. Uh, a little bit on the horizontal stabilizers, but as for the wings, not bad, to be honest. So this is a great looking aircraft. Let me give you guys a top down view. And also let me give you guys a side view. So not too much wing flex. Here's the top of the aircraft and the bottom as well. So honestly, a really good looking aircraft. I'm glad to have this one. and It'll be a great addition to my American Airlines fleet. Alrighty, boys, next on the list, we have another really cool model from the NG Models November releases, I believe, October and November, one of them. I'm also waiting on some other models from NG, but they haven't came in yet, so that will most likely be the next modern mass unboxing, as the next one from now will be the uh, another retro unboxing, because I have several of those. So we'll do a retro unboxing next, and then the following unboxing, 27, will be another uh, modern unboxing, because we have several NGs particularly, I think, that are coming in, because Gemini's been a little lesser in terms of their sets as of late. But let's get into this. And here we have the NG models, 1 to 400 scale Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Star Wars Galaxy Disneyland livery. What a cool looking aircraft. I am super, super excited for this. This will be a great addition to the collection and I'm really excited for this. Uh, the Southwest Colorado one also is on the way with the other ones, so that's why they, it is not in this video. But nevertheless, here's the Alaska Star Wars. So really excited for this. This is gonna be a great model. Boom, 737-800, here are all your Star Wars figures back there that look awesome. Star Wars Galaxy Edge, Disneyland, registration November 538 Alpha Sierra, obviously with the Alaska and NG titles. Just a really cool box. This is what makes NGs really cool. I get the professional side of it, but man, Man, these boxes do look really cool there it's kind of hard to deny that so i'm excited for this i also kind of heard something rattling it might be the plastic but i can't tell so let's see what this box encompasses and hopefully not broken so we're looking good so far it could have been the um card right here actually and this is the august version once again that that um caught our head so let's take a look at this and see what this is all about so i'm hopeful for a good condition model here and hopefully no defects to speak of just goodness gracious this is mm. Look at that, wow. And here we have the NG models, 1 to 400 scale, Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Star Wars livery. 
goodness, man, these Star Wars liveries truly hit different. And this is another great example of that. Take a look at this stunning aircraft. Let's dive into details and see what this unit is all about. Alrighty, everybody, so here we go. We got the cockpit windows, which are kind of hard to see, but here they are. Got the nose cone shape, which looks fantastic. Some pedo tubes and inspection panels. And then you have your L1 boarding door. You also have a Star Wars. Sorry about that, everybody, but taking a look at Sorry about that everybody, but taking a look at this, just what a great looking aircraft. So glad to have this one. This is such a beautiful airplane. Here is the top of it right here. Really great detail in the bottom as well. Obviously, like I was saying, some sort of like tannish, creamish, whitish color uh, belly. I think cream is probably the best word for it. So really good looking aircraft, highly recommended. What a great one. And we have a really unique model to finish this out today. Alrighty, everybody. So this model comes from a Waffle Collectibles restock. I'm really excited to have this one as there's actually been several instances where I've wanted to represent this particular event, but unfortunately I haven't been able to realistically because there's um, not been a, um, I haven't had a model of it. So now that I do, this is gonna look fantastic. And I'm really surprised that this hasn't been released more often, but I'm really excited to finally have one if my table doesn't die as I get open this uh, box. These USPS boxes are kind of challenging to work with, but I'm really excited for this aircraft. This is a very unique one to say the least. And I'm really excited to see what this is all about. It's actually pretty heavy to be honest. I was not expecting that, but let's get into this guys. Here we have the Aviation 400, one to 400 scale Air Force One or VC-25. Very, very excited to have this one. This is really cranking it back for Aviation 400. I think this was a 2009 release. And I'm so excited to have this one. So this aircraft's actually came to Albuquerque out of all places uh, twice over the last five months, which is pretty crazy to think about. So really wanted to represent it there, but it also came to Tulsa 2020, 2021, among other places. So I'm very excited to have this one. And this will be a great plan to pay, pair with the E4B and just in general. So let's get into this really unique model from Aviation 400 and see what it's all about here. Really excited for this. And I hope you guys are as well as I get the camera level here. Premium series, the gold right here, not suitable for children under 14, United States of America. You got the flag going across here, Boeing officially license or uh, yeah officially licensed product 747 200 visit us aviation 400.com really cool you can see this here's the aircraft inside aviation 400 logo these guys recently joined MAF, so that was really cool you can see model airliner form here's the bottom of it 49 45 95 i think i paid like 60 for it so pretty good deal because i'm pretty sure these are very very challenging to find this is 2,900, I think I saw 2,800 too, or whichever tell number it is. Yep, 2,800. I wish it was that one, but unfortunately it's 2,900. So maybe I'll try to interchange it in the future if 2,800 does become available because that's the one I got to see in real life. It was really cool, but nevertheless, Air Force One will do and really cool to get to see that. Okay, so this is actually really cool. So you got your limited edition sticker here. Uh, this is number 360 of, how many did they make? Uh, it's not saying how many not seen it anywhere, but it's probably noted somewhere. Um, not exactly sure, but really cool. You get to see that sticker no matter what. It's a USAF, Boeing 747-200 with the registration. Uh, serial number is 138, so that really cranks it back there for Aviation 400. And here's the Waffle Collectibles uh, card right here. So this one, I'm not sure the last time that they, um, when this was put in, but this might be new. I'm not sure. So honestly, not sure on that, but nevertheless, here is the 747-200 or e, uh, VC-25. Really excited to have this. And this is gonna be a very unique aircraft for the collection. And I'm really excited to have my very first Air Force One. Wow, it is extremely heavy. I was not expecting that, but hey, that is what a die cast model airplane should be, a uh, die cast as the name implies. Alrighty, everybody, and here we go with Air Force One, the VC-25. Man, so glad to have this one. This is a really, really cool airplane, and man, I'm so excited to utilize this. What a great airplane, and this is gonna be perfect for many updates to come. So let's just not even waste any further time and dive into this. Alrighty, everybody, here's the cockpit windows and nose shape. Really good looking for the 747-200. These, uh, this and the E4B are kind of my first variants of the 747-200. I don't have an actual passenger one, which is pretty interesting. Here's the nose right here, obviously, with your first class area somewhere in here. And obviously, so, well, nah, this, this is Air Force One. So I guess every seat's luxury probably. So somewhere in here, you have some uh, seats, of course. Here's your L1 door. And then here's the logo right here, which is awesome. Also, the uh, baggage door, I believe that would be. So really cool to get to see that. Here's your intermediate. Intermediate section, United States Air Force America. 
Really, really cool to get to see this. Your light blue engines just look fantastic. You obviously got the gold cheat line, the blue on there, United States of America, like I said, just really simple, but a fantastic iteration of this aircraft. And here's the blue, like I said, once again, and then here's your United States Air Force logo right there and the winglet deal right there. Then there's your USAF actually in light blue, which is really cool. The back here, you got all your windows right there, United States Air Force logo, and then the really iconic tail 29000, the US flag and the horizontal stabilizer just look fantastic. And this model is very, very heavy, but I love it. Right side of the aircraft also has some really good detail. Just looks so nice. And I can't believe I got the opportunity to get this one. I honestly thought I would end up getting one of the Geminis later down the road when one became available, like Airlines International or something. But no, I ended up getting this one off Waffle, so I can't complain. Waffle's very good for getting restocks, and you really can't complain. Top of the aircraft looks really good here, and you also have some very unique landing gear. Oh, holy crap, I've never seen this before. So here's what the bottom looks like. You got the light blue in the front, and then you got the gold, or I'm sorry, silver wrong color i was i saw this and i was like gold but no that's a tannish color that's more of like a tan or like some sort of color but the aviation 400 logo looks so cool on that that's very unique so glad to have that along with that you also have the uh main landing gear doors and the chrome back here and then you got a little bit of gold into the blue and then the horizontal stabilizers on the bottom usaf and also the uh logo there there we go you guys can see what i'm referencing what a great model so glad to have this one this is a great way to finish out this unboxing and i'm so excited to have this expect this to be used many times and this and air force 2 are going to be a great pair together so 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 glad to have this Alrighty, everybody, and just like that, that will do it for Massive Unboxing 25. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and what a great assortment of aircraft. Let's just dive into this. Not many broken either, which is absolutely awesome to see. So beginning right here, we have the American Airlines A319 by Gemini, second release. The third release of the 320, second of the CFM here for American. The uh, United 757-300 Evo Blue, great way to kick off the unboxing today. What a great model. And the Alaska 737-800 in the Star Wars livery. What a stunning model. Highly recommend all of these. Dreamliner for American Airlines. This is the NG787-9 right there. That looks fantastic. And here's the Finnair A350-900 that NG did. Really, really good effort by, on their side. Sorry, guys. The cumulus clouds are deciding to rain on my parade here. Here's the Cotter Boeing 777-300ER by NG. Really, really cool model. So glad to have that one. It looks fantastic. And in the back right there, you can see the Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner right there in the house livery. That looks absolutely amazing. And two really unique aircraft to round out this lineup we have the e4b for the united states of america air force such a good looking aircraft right there and lastly the last model we unboxed one of the best for sure is the air force one or vc25 really really great assortment of models i really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing what a great assortment so like i said mass unboxing 26 will be another retro unboxing you guys can expect that in the coming weeks and mass unboxing 27 will likely be all those new ngs the america 77-8s the america 737s southwest tennessee one uh colorado one and possibly some of the newer ones too and uh, i'm forgetting what else was in that lineup but you guys probably know which ones i'm talking about so what a great assortment like i said i really hope you guys enjoyed this a really great assortment of models and i'm so glad to get all these these will be great additions to the collection i'm very excited to get to utilize them in the airport updates and just in general for my collection so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video my name is red Dirt of aviation I want to thank you guys so much for watching take it easy everybody stay safe trust the process do what you love and love what you do my name is red Dirt of aviation I want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon as red Dirt of Aviation is signing off.